it's actually raining outside too. Kind of weird. No tornado though. Or at least, yes. I'm sure there's no tornado. Warren, can you hear me? Never mind. Listen, do you have that photo you took last night in the parking lot? Yeah, but why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I. I a little it. complicated, Where Warren. Are you? I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. Oh god, that place is right on the beach. That's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. Cue a driving segment. Oh God, text and driving in this weather. Message I love this game. I'm gonna end up at the lighthouse right now, at some point. God, it feels Why like it. So hurry up. Somebody. Hey! That guy's trapped! I have to help everybody I can. Are you okay? Once I get the hell out of here, I was trapped here because I got stuck in this shithole delivering logs after the railroad closed down. You better go now. And I ain't never coming back here. You need a lift. No thanks. I have to find a friend. You go, girl. You go. Okay, there we go. Okay, those people were fine. Okay, you guys get out of here. Look at it! You 
can't take a picture when you're dead. Now move your ass. Okay, if you insist. Jesus, dude. Oh, Max, you do know things. You're such an idiot. Only if you don't find a safe spot until the floor goes. Okay? Now I better listen to the real everyday hero. Come with me. I have to help somebody else first. Okay, anybody over there? I don't see anyone. God, there's probably somebody over there. Oh god, what am I doing? How can I get out of here? Sprinkler. Oh fuck. He's dead. Electrocuted. I want to help that fisherman, but he's in shock and he might not hear me. Damn. I'm stuck here unless I put out this fire first. Okay, what do I... Don't fail me, Fusebox. I want to help that fisherman, but he's in shock and he might not hear me. Can make it out of this glowing. Oh god, maybe I should this makes me so sad. I don't think the flyer is the most important thing right now. Oh god, something I can throw at him, really. Can I go back even further? God. He's in shock and he might not no, him. wait a minute. Wait a minute. I keep forgetting. Although I'm going to be trapped More in this fire. Storms. Come on. You have to get out of here right now. It's brilliant. Please, 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 please. You should get out of here. Okay. I better hurry to the diner over there. I need Warren's photo. I see him. Rewind and get in there really fast. Okay, so I... How do I...
I didn't even see that. Let's not get away from the precariously placed car. Oh yeah, sure. Take a photo of it. Yeah, there you go. One for the scrapbook. Like there's any more important things to do. Once again, this is not a test. This is not a test. An E6 tornado warning has been issued for Arcadia Bay and surrounding counties. The emergency broadcast is Max. now in a E6. Oh, Max. Oh, Jesus, I am so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? Two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out there. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. In it. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. I'm so Hello. glad everybody is safe here. Um, but I need that photo from Warren to help Chloe. Sorry. I hate to say I'm glad to see you. But I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. Should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. I can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. Uh, don't be that hard on yourself. You just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh, yeah. Finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And, long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa. Is that all? I hey, have to go Chloe. back in time. I started Jefferson the storm. Killed Chloe. I can't let that happen. I have to do something, Warren. Max, going back in time is what caused the storm. All because... because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. Uh, what happened with Jefferson? Did, did he hurt you? He was about to. Nathan accidentally killed Rachel Amber trying to impress Jefferson. He just needed mental help. Now they're both dead. Jesus, Max. I want the whole story, but I guess we really are out of time. But I can still change things. What do you think will happen? For every action, there's there's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or, or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction. Even in the environment. It's really going for it. <sighs> All this How do I... It's my fault. Give me a break. If you sure didn't give yourself time travel powers. I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole. You're part of something bigger. And I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That means both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max. I'm sorry you got stuck in this. 
And this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you. So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. Okay, so back to the party. Hey. Be careful out there. Uh, he does really have a thing for her, but... I don't know. I don't really want them to be together. I don't know. For Max, I feel really strong of her being single. She's that strong, like, independent woman. It's just... She doesn't need, like, a man to find her or anything like that. I, I want them to be friends. How, before I do this. <laughs> Me too. better go before I get pathetic and tell you not to. You're not pathetic. You're one of my heroes. And I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max. for this shit. Come on, Max. Uh, oh, God, I missed that voice. Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess just tell her. Tell her everything right now. Right now. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me, too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna Sorry, Warren. Rachel. Let's go. Now. Chloe, wait. Listen. I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once. Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit! Nathan is the fucking serial killer! We saw the proof! Now excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure no, he never I saw anybody the proof. again. Are you coming? Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Jefferson kidnapped Rachel and some other girls. He was also manipulating Nathan, and he killed him. Then it's Jefferson's turn to die now. I understand why you don't want to do this, and I won't blame you for not coming with me. Chloe! You almost had her, Max. I can still do this. Guess that was the wrong thing. Excuse me, I'm... Nathan is dead. That fucker is because will you please Mark Jefferson turned out to be a psychopath. Okay, Max. Let's go in there as a team and take his ass out right now. It's a past No, she is not gonna Go for that. Chloe, I should never have run away from you like I did when we left Arcadia Bay. I know I hurt you. All I ever wanted was to make it up to you. Please don't run away from me. Max, I'm not running from you. This is what I need you the most. This is how to make everything up to me. With your power and my gun, nothing in the universe can stop us now, Max. No. 
Not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm gonna do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is gonna turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? Chloe, I'm... I'm gonna tell you the truth. Just everything, no everything. What. I changed your past, and I... I, I had to make a terrible oh, choice. Oh, you're telling her about that? I, that, uh... That's a really heavy me. one. I won't be mad at you. I, I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And... You, you were in pain. You were slowly dying. And you... You asked me to... End your life. I did. For you... I... I didn't want you to suffer in any other timeline or reality. I couldn't bear the thought of you in any more pain. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I, I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's, that's why you should come with me, so we can stay together and stay alive. Tell her about Please. the junkyard, the junkyard. Do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us and he can actually stop him. Right? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. Chloe, David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you. But I'm so grateful David was there. So what's your plan? We tell him everything. Including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always yes. believe you, Chloe. You know, and it's gonna start right at the diner, wherever we are at that time. Okay, now where is she? Where is she right now? At the beach? Oh, Chloe! I see that the real Max is back. So, how was your time trip, dude? Shut up! Oh, you're alive! You're alive! Oh, both of us! I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. Worked, actually worked. You're with me again. <laughs> Looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And travel through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And I hope it was worth it. But I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Come on. No. And also, there's a tornado. Look at what my powers have caused. 
Just a short time. Nobody. You're a Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. I always wanted my life to be special. An adventure. But not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So, without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. And for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out. We were meant to be together. Yeah, I don't want to figure out about it. Like, why? I just, I don't just want to. Somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that, too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You, you remember, right? Well, we, we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once, I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Oh, we look. At the lighthouse? The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Oh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Is this, stop beating yourself up, okay? We both paid our dues already on it. God, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on. Chloe. 